Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm gonna bring to you guys my updated makeup collection which it almost all oh sorry it almost all fits into this IKEA Alex typical nine drawer. So yeah, without further ado, if you wanna see what's in my makeup collection and how I organize it and how I keep it and whatnot now that I organize it and I keep it clean and I clean the stuff a little bit because it was a mess, it was a hot mess, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So if you wanna, if you wanna see with me and keep it for the record and whatnot, the time that it was clean and it was all ordered in place, please keep on watching. So starting at the top, I'm just gonna show you. Uh, these are these are placed on my desk usually, but today just for showing purposes, I have it in here. And these are my lip liners. As you can see, I don't have a ton of lip liners, but they all tend to be in the nudish, pinkish, some red, then some clear lip liners, just so they are good for every kind of shade. Here is one of my favorite ones, which is the. Urban Decay Naked and another favorite of mine if I can find it um, where is it where is it it's so small already it's this uh, Bois de Rose from uh, L'Oreal it's a really beautiful mauve shade in here I have my eyeliners and as you can see I use this Jordana almond continuous almond even though it's a nice shadow I use it as a waterline liner kind of situation some other nude shades, uh, some uh, brownish, this is called Dip Wine, actually from Bremel, uh, Kat Von D, Trooper, uh, you name it, Essence, this is a really out there color, really pink, the MAC ones, green ones, I have uh, colds, I have felt tips, I have all kinds of liners in here, uh, Chanel, I have also my eyelash curler, and they live in here. I'm holding the tripod with my hand because it's not high enough. So the first drawer, as we open it, uh, here it is. Can I show you? Yes. Here on the back I have a uh, spare uh, Zoeva bags and whatnot, makeup bags that uh, I use when I go traveling. Here I have some eye drops. Uh, here, for some reason, I keep most of my benefit stuff. I don't know why I always kept it separated from the rest of the stuff. In here I have uh, um, some moisturizer, a kazoo, <laughs> lip balm, a this which they said it's like this cream for your for your butt issues but it works for the under eye bags and whatnot. I still have to prove it. I It hasn't worked for me as so far. Some oh, products that I have yet to open a lighter, a lighter for when I light my candles. Here I have my Benetint, the Positint, which are cheap, cheek and lip stains. This is all, all just for memorabilia, almost as U Rebel Light, which was a colored, uh, colored moisturizer from Benefit before BBs were all the hype. Also this Skinny Jeans um, Cream Shadow a sample of some kind of gorgeous which was my go-to foundation for so many years uh, measuring tape, I don't know, uh, this blush which is called Bella Bamba from Benefit, it's discontinued so I don't know if it doesn't make sense that I show it to you but it's a really pink iridescent color, Hervana uh, then I have, uh, let me show you, Hula and uh, Dallas, so yeah I have a big chunk of Actually, let's take Dallas out because I'm doing. I'm planning on doing something with this. Again, uh, this is the. Um, can I show it to you? Oh my God, this is getting harder. Uh, this is the um, mascara drawer. Here I have all the liners that I still have yet to use. As you can see, I have a bunch. Have this Master Shape brow pencil from Maybelline. That now that I am blonde, bleach blonde, <laughs> this is way too dark for me have blue, this Essence ones, backups from NYX, products that I want to try, this Master Catch All. They have been here, you know, for the longest time, this Master Precise, this Rimmel Gel Liner. Here I have all the um, mascaras that are not on current rotation that I'm that are gonna be next, you know, in line. Here I have my brow products, this Hello Autumn from Essence, this one is from Mercadona. 
this NYX powder and uh, yeah I have a couple of uh, essence make me brow and brunette and in blonde I don't know where the blonde went but it should be in here the Chanel really up there in price uh, eyebrow powder from when I had a pretty penny and here I have a clear uh, gel mascara for to set the brows uh, Mas Max Factor Masterpiece which is the same as the um, how you say that Super Sizer from Copper Girl, the Voluminous from L'Oreal, Rimmel Wake Me Up, this Essence False Lashes Mascara, Maybelline False Lashes, um, this one is waterproof, and these are the ones. These are the ones that I have on rotation, and they are on their last legs. Clump Defy, um, Mega Volume Black Angel Lash Princess, this Max Factor False Lash Effect. This Clump Defy is one of my favorite, also the full slash effect, and I am sad that I'm running out of roll of lash, like I am so saddened about it because I will not be purchasing, as you can see I have lots of backups anytime soon, and it is really up there in price, but I really love this mascara, but it's getting clumpier and whatnot. Here I have my night cream, which is this Drops of Youth from um, the Body Shop. The moisturizer that I tend to use when I haven't applied any moisturizer or whatever, which is the Olay Complete Light Day Wave Fluid. Uh, you know, this was the air freshener, sorry, for when I forgot applying moisturizer just before makeup. And eye cream. Uh, back there, I have the Nivea Sensitive balm and whatnot which was all the rage and I don't know I'm not quite sure about it here I have the mouse a wireless mouse so random uh, next up I have this can I set this in place already yes next up here is the powders uh, drawer if you will which I have this very much loved uh, can you see this shade and light palette from Kat Von D which I already hit pan on four of six of them. Um, you know, Too Faced, oops, Too Faced um, Pink Leopard, which is this beautiful blusher bronzer. Can I give you a swatch? It's, it's a really beautiful all-rounder. I have a couple of swatches of waterproof pencils in my hand that they didn't go anywhere. Here, I have my shoot. Here I have my, uh, let's just take it down a notch here. I'm sorry. Here, I have my NYX blushes. This one is in uh, Summer Peach, Angel, which are more my wintry colors. The other ones are in the back. This one is called Brown Berry from Aster. This is Pink Sugar from Dremel. Again, Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild, this Dior one, which is really cool. Uh, it's really adjustable, even though it looks crazy in here. This Bury Me Up from Essence, uh, Luminoso from Milani, this summery one, this peachy one from L'Oreal, which is called Nectarine. On the back of the drawer, I have to read in there, I have this NYX one in Spanish Rose. The contouring pencils from Primark. This slick palette that has a highlight, a blusher, and a bronzer. Just a good all rounder. And next up, here we have all the powders, the setting powders. I have the NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Powder Foundation. These are a bit bulkier, the Max, uh, the Max Studio Fix, sorry. A new, fresh new uh, True Match from L'Oreal, which is my the love of my life. This NYX Radiant Finish one. This one, it's Essence All About Matte. It leaves a little bit of white overcast. This one that I should really get rid of because the lid is broken. But still, the powder is good, which is this Essence Pure Skin. Let's just take it out of here for a second. Rimmel Stay Matte and this Master Sculpt. Uh, kind of thing that from uh, Maybelline that I used a lot, you know, last year, but now for some reason I left it in here and I'm not reaching for it as much. Moving on to highlighters, I have Essence Lights of Orient, which is the champagne one. Another Essence So Glow, 
it's another champagne -y shade. This is rosy, almost white highlighter. Let me swatch it for you in here. As you can see, it's really potent from Essence. This was from the Cinderella collection. Next, I have Soft and Gentle from MAC. This Hello Autumn, which is an all over the face powder, but I use it as a highlighter, a subtle one. This mattifying, uh, this matte highlighter that's from Essence is the Great Powerful from Oz, which I think it's the same one that now they sell without any kind of collection. The AC Make It Forever uh, setting powder that if you don't have to take flash photography, it's really, really good. Beware, don't use this on the under eye area because it gives a color to the concealer. But other than that, I'm um, sorry, the tripod. Benefit High Beam, I am in love with this. An alternative is Essence Fix and Mask Translucent, but it's a bit heavier, it's not as finely milled. Here I have the Contouring uh, Unfallable Sculpt, as you can see, very well loved, from L'Oreal. Creamy contour thing. This is ye old. I'm just keeping it because, you know, it smells good. This was, this was one of the first products that I got probably over 10 years ago, so I'm not using it, I'm just keeping it for, for memorability purposes. This Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the color number one, light. Let me just open it for you in here. So you can see it's a lighter color. NYC, oh, NYC Sunny, can I show it to you in here? Then I have a bunch of uh, essence powders, you know, this big old one. Then I have this Rimmel Match Perfection. This is ultra creamy compact powder. It's not a um, bronzer, but I use it as such because I got it in the color 400 natu natural beige. So I can use it as a bronzer whenever I please. It's a good tip if you cannot get a hold of, of a good bronzer or whatever they are too orangey. Go for a darker foundation. See, here is Essence Sun Club in light skin. I'll just order it later. Now let's just go on to the next drawer. Let me just set the tripod. Now that I can. Here. Oh, so beautiful. Can I? Here. Oh, now I'm free. I can set the tripod. Here is my concealer drawer. And I have separated the ones that I don't reach for as much, which are this Max Factor, for instance, Eye Luminizer, the LA Girl Pro Conceal, because the color is off for me. This Kiko one in the color number one, this Kiko one, this, uh, yeah, full coverage concealer. I used a ton, I used a couple of this way back when. But you know, I moved forward and this it's going to be used up someday. This Dream Lumi from Maybelline. Rimmel Hide Blemish, another bullet uh, cover stick. Concealer from Essence and yeah, this color from uh, this Fit Me from Maybelline, which is number 10. And interestingly enough, it's darker than number 15, so it's a little bit darker for me and yeah. This one that I wouldn't recommend to anyone, which is the Garnier BB Cream uh, kind of uh, concealer. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't work as well. This La Roche Posay, a Tolerian corrector, or whatever, in yellow. It's it's so gimmicky. A palette of concealers from Kiko, as you can see in here for when you're traveling or whatever, where you're having different skin issues. And this one that I'm keeping for memory purpose only, that I got back when I was 18 at Sephora. And you see this package, it's so old, beat up, and it's dried up and whatever, but it, it was the correcting thing back then, you know. And now they're back in trend. Here are the concealers, primers, and likes that I, that I use on a daily basis. This is a Makeup Forever HD concealer. This has this uh, rubbery tip, so it's... I don't like the applicator as much, but the concealer is okay. Uh, and here I tend to rotate depending on my skin needs and issues and whatnot. Here's the, the remainders of the Double Wear Estee Lauder that I am planning on using every little glass drop of this. This is Bobbi Brown and Bisque, which is a corrector shade. 
And here I have the Bobbi Brown concealer and the color Cool Sand. And the, as you can see, it's well left. Cool Sand and Pale Yellow, it's a powder. I have a couple of Benefit Erase Paste, color number two for the summertime, number one for the winter time. Then I have the Prolong Wear, which is a really good one as well from MAC. I don't like the container because it's really fragile, but this is a basic, which is from the brand Basic, funny enough, powder that I use to set the under eye area. It's from the, it's two euros, whatever, from here from the local drugstore. It's not a brand or anything. Another green uh, concealer, this this gimmicky, ultra expensive Hydra Life from uh, BB concealer from Dior. This, I mean, if you if you need concealer, don't use this. If you don't need concealer, don't use concealer. This just come on, like they, I paid for it. I was dumb enough. Okay, my num my number, I don't know, four of the Age Rewind, and I am already using half of it. This is how much I use this. This is the Essence Stay All Day 16 Hour Concealer. They are pretty solid. Gloomy Magique from L'Oreal, which would be the compar comparable to the. Uh, Dream Lumi from Maybelline, which is comparable to the to the um, S.A. Lauder one that I used to have, but I don't have anymore. And yeah, I'm not planning on repurchasing it. Uh, Fit Me number 15, which is lighter than number 10. Like, come on, check this out. I don't know, I don't know. It should be darker, but either way. Urban Decay Naked Skin. A sample size of the loose powder, the HC powder from Makeup Forever. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Milani Eye Primer. This Peachy from LA Girl. This uh, Healthy Mix from Bourjois. True Match in the stick form. And last but not least, MAC Prep and Prime. You know, the for the lids, I don't reach for it as much. But yeah, I used to use it a lot before I had the shadow primers.